Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Top 5 Plays, episode 276. Just a friendly reminder, the number one spot receives a $25 RP prize, so if you happen to make a super dank play, then send it in! But without further ado, let's jump into some plays. Starting us off at number 5, we have Scroto on Tristana. Draven and Thresh is a vicious combo to go against, especially when your support gets caught. However, with Draven distracted, Tristana plops an explosive charge on him, forcing him to heal and back off. The enemy Leeson shows up, and a perfectly timed buster shot prevents him from completing his resonating strike, allowing Scroto to take him down. With Rocket Jump reset, she decides to go back in and help out Akali, flashing for the kill on Draven. A new challenger is approaching, and Scroto makes a break for it, but she decides to take a complimentary triple kill with her. And of course, Kled is late to the party. Speaking of Kled, at number four, we have Danger Emo on Kled. Danger's team is out for the count, but that's not going to be stopping him from charging into battle. He locks onto Tarek, and with his violent tendencies, he rips him apart, flashes only to come back with a bear trap. He gets dismounted, pocket pistols, killing Mord, and with his increased range, he takes down Kazix. And with newfound courage, Skarl comes back only to leave again, but who needs that cowardly lizard? At number three, we have AI Senpai on Lee Sin. A team fight is about to go down and Senpai is looking for his time to shine. He sees the ghost horse and kicks him into his whole team and with unstoppable force and bullet time following it up, the blue team is on the run. Senpai flashes into a sonic wave, allowing him to clean up both Hecarim and Nami. And if that wasn't good enough, a lonely Morgana appears and he decides to reward himself to a triple. Teamwork is rare, but it is a beautiful sight. All right, the plays are about to get danker at number two, the Royal Cannon on Caitlyn, and we jump into a team fight in the jungle. Cannon lays down a trap for the oncoming Lee Sin, getting a headshot off, but Anivia is reduced into her egg form, and Volley Bear goes down. A trap is put into the Dragon Pit, forcing Jin to back off. So they step up, but Xerath lands an Arcanal Pulse, so Cannon lays low to assess the situation. She doesn't want to get flanked. Echo forces Xerath to back up. Jin approaches, and the fight is back on. Echo phase dives in. Cannon steps up and pulls off a Pilt over Mad Life, sniping Jin after his flash. She nets away from Lee Sin, flashes while putting down a trap, getting the back to back headshot off. Echo assists with the kill on Soraka and holds down Xerath with convergence. And with one last dodge, Cannon comes out victorious. And at number one, we have Diamond One player YZY Wako. On Fiora, we start off with Wako stepping up to the enemy Kled. She activates her grand challenge, pops two vitals, and dodges the oncoming body slam barrel combo. She makes sure to finish off Kled to activate her heal just as Ash shows up. Gragas melts like butter. He uses an explosive cast, but it's to no effect. Wako then targets Ash, who stuns her with crystallized arrow, but Bard screams, I'm helping. As he seals the fate of Ash, Bard, looking to redeem himself, stuns Wako. Karthus gets in range for his wall of pain, slowing her down. Wako reposts the cosmic binding, stunning Karthus, and quickly finishes off Bard during the stun. And like a raid boss, she has to constantly dodge to the lay waste, and the boss is down, and the loot is acquired. Her teammates got purple gear, but sadly, nothing dropped for Wako. And for our bonus play, we have Melanie Garrix on LeBlanc, and it's that time once again to play Guess What Happens. So let's take a look. All right, LeBlanc finds the teleporting Shen, but she isn't able to chain him down, but he does teleport into a horrible situation. So who's going to get the kill? If you guess LeBlanc's across the map, auto attack would get the kill. Well, kudos to you. This video is sponsored by Loot Crate, and the theme for this month is speed. If you like cars and you're also a geek, well, then you're about to become fully torqued. Batman, Iron Man, and The Flash are just some of the brands going into this box. Now, this box is the standard Loot Crate box, but if you're looking for a different brand or a cheaper option, well, they just have about everything. They have boxes for just 10 bucks if you're looking for swag and trying to hold on to your monies. The clothing you receive from these crates are of the highest quality. Also, you can get 10% off the price by using the code Potato Monsters. so check out the link link in the description box beneath this video. Well, that's going to do it for us, guys and gals. Thank you again for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video and you want to help us out, leave a like. And if you didn't like it, well, let us know how to improve. And if you're looking for some more top five plays, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.